Hey everyone, happy Wednesday. Only two days left till Christmas. Hope everyone is excited, getting to spend some time with their immediate family um, and get some great gifts. And we'll get this new year going. Hopefully 2021 is going to bring a lot of promise for everyone. I want to take you guys for a tour of this 3231 CK Montana, okay? It weighs 12,720 pounds. So it is on the heavy side. You're gonna need a one ton truck for this bad boy, but it's loaded with features. So let's go take a look. Don't get it so close to me. <laughs> Sorry. Um, on the outside, you're gonna see that we do have a campsite slide. So we actually have two awnings on this. Both awnings are powered and they do have the LED. So you're gonna have plenty of coverage out here uh, from the sun. Get you some shade. Or one of my favorite things to do is when it's raining, sit outside on the porch with the awning out, hear the raindrops, it's awesome. Uh, outside speakers, so if you do want to jam out around the campfire, you can totally do that. You have massive pass-through storage, or as I always like to call it, mother-in-law quarters, because she never watches my videos, so she doesn't know that. You do have a TV hookup out here, so you got power and you got your satellite as well as your cable TV, and this is key TV. So the way that works, you got one cable coming in, but you can actually watch multiple channels on different TVs. So that's pretty cool. You're not stuck watching the uh, kid shows or maybe mom and dad are watching a boring documentary and you want to watch something else, you can totally do that. Solid steps. Uh, they're coming pretty much stock on most campers anymore. If they don't, you should upgrade to them. They're fantastic. I'll tell you why. I have two corgis. Their feet are about that big, or I guess their legs are about that big. They can get up and down no problem. Uh, they're also great if you've had hip surgeries, knee surgeries, or maybe you've just had too much to drink around the campfire. They give you a little more stability to get in there. And you've got the good old grab handle to get in there as well. Great, okay, let's navigate through the step maze. And I don't know if you can see it. Yeah, go ahead and show them back there. You do have a ladder, so it is a fully walkable roof, making it easy to clean and maintain. And you are backup camera prepped. You'll notice also on the outside that these are frameless windows. And I just think that gives it a little extra pop look so you can make all the other campers jealous. Let's go ahead and take a look. We're gonna start back here in the bedroom. You do have a king size bed, which I absolutely love. There is storage underneath the bed. You do have small nightstands on both sides of the bed and USB as well as regular powering. So you can put your phone up there, your iPad, whatever you want. You've got a big old closet. You do have shelves inside the closet as well as being able to hang stuff and power in there, as well as a handy dandy laundry hamper. So you can hide all that unsightly dirty clothes until you get home from the campground. This camper is washer dryer prepped. It's hidden behind the chairs. These chairs go with the table in the dining area. I'll show you that when we get out there, but you can put a washer dryer in here or it's just additional storage. And then directly across from the bed, we have a bank of drawers. So again, storage, storage, storage. I always say that that's one of my favorite features of the Montana is you're not gonna run out of storage. You have a TV that is actually mounted in, so it gives it that more finished look. And then Greer, if you look up at the ceiling, you've got speakers back here, so you can really jam out back here, but it's also on the quiet cool system. So your ACs are mounted on the roof. Roof, yeah, sound like a dog. <laughs> the ACs are mounted up on the roof, so it's gonna be quieter in here as well as in the living room. So when you're trying to watch TV or talk to somebody, you cannot use the AC as an excuse to ignore your wife anymore, sorry. Now we'll go up and check out the bathroom. As you see, we've got a really big bathroom. We've got the dual sinks, we've got dual medicine cabinets, and we've got dual storage below. So his mess, her mess, I don't know who's the messy one in the relationship, but somebody can have it clean, somebody can have it messy, um, and you even have a shared space. So maybe in the name of splitting things up, one of you takes the top shelf and the other one takes the bottom. You've got a big sit down shower, I will not buy a camper without a seat in the shower. Personally, I love it. I know my wife uses it to shave her legs. I don't shave my legs, but I do sit there and enjoy the relaxation uh, at the end of the day. Toilet, which is kind of a necessity in a, shower, in a bathroom. And something we don't point out a lot is the exhaust fans. And this one actually has a big old exhaust fan in here. So you're not gonna have to worry about pulling any of the moisture out. So let's go take a look at the rest of the camper. I do wanna point out 
You do have uh, some additional storage here, but one of these actually, I think, yeah, girl, I'll let you come around. One of these actually contains your command center. So that's everything. You can literally control everything there. And then this one, it's the quiet clause. This one is actually a place, uh, you can put dog leashes, jackets, whatever you needed to there. Coming into the kitchen. So I'm gonna start here, work my way around. We've got our three burner stove that you've got ample space on both sides for prep space for cooking. So you've got a lot of space. You also, if that wasn't enough space, you can pull this bad boy out and you've got additional space. Chop, 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 cook, chop, 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 cook. And those do have drawers there and you have a cabinet over here on this side. So that's pretty cool. Residential sized refrigerator. So we talk about storage, but it's also, I think important to talk about, this is a, a great unit if you're gonna vacation in it because you've got plenty of room for a couple of weeks clothes in here, maybe more, and you've got ample room for food. So you're not gonna run out of uh, food storage. Big island, and it's got like a 80-20 stainless steel sink in it with a detachable sprayer. Again, plenty of countertop space. Like you've got a lot of countertop space. And then below that island, you'll see we have a bunch of cabinets and drawers down here and cool little light back there, which I like. On this side, again, I feel like I'm repeating myself, counter prep space. I mean, it makes that cutting board look tiny. You've got so much space. Stainless steel microwave, more storage. And then, Guru, if you pan across, this is the... Uh, it's not really a freestanding dinette because it's hooked in, but there's your dinette set. And the end of that will actually pull out those chairs that are up there in the closet earlier I was showing you. You can actually seat four people there, which is nice. This unit, as you see, is $67,690. One thing to point out, stay there, girl. I'm going to come around. Some of the cool little features that they do in these is these little pop-up. You can actually push that in, drop it down, but that's going to give you some additional charging USB as well as regular here. And then last, but certainly not least, we're gonna come into the living room area. So right here, we have our theater seating that does recline, nice and cozy. Over here, we have our a sleeper sofa. So that's, uh, you can sleep on it like it is, but it will actually come out into a full uh, sleeper area. Storage up above, and then it's all centrally located with your TV, I don't know, 50, 55 inch TV. You've got your inside speakers, your CD, DVD, Blu-ray player is hidden back behind here. And then you have your fireplace. And this is your electric fireplace. Uh, I talk about those quite a bit. Absolutely love them. We have one in our camper. They're great in the early season camping and the end of season camping to take that chill out of the air in the morning or in the evening. If you want, you can just turn on the light, have a nice little ambiance in here. And then I think the last thing, there's so many things to cover on these Montanas, is the shades, the blinds. You'll notice that we have this one pulled down. That's going to let some sunlight in, but it's also going to keep it from getting too hot in here. But if you want full privacy, you pull the blackout shade down and nobody can see anything. So that's pretty cool. So again, this is Walkthrough Wednesday. Wishing you guys all a very Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year from all of us here at Walnut Ridge. Hope everyone is safe and enjoys the holiday. Thank you.